false advertising. This is a two-person group piece because that's our entire team. <laughs> My name is Kayla Dutcher, and I am in ninth grade. Okay. And my name is Rachel Woods, and I'm a senior. Stir the dip! <laughs> okay. Pencils scribble across the page and turn letters into living things, turn punctuation marks into atmospheric accessories. But we, we don't, don't have, have time, time to create stories because we have essays to write, and thesis statements to rewrite, and citations to perfect. We compare paintings of apples to photos of oranges and try to find which dots we can connect. We strip famous artworks of their color and shove them into paint by number books so people understand how they were rec created. But we're, we're too, too busy, busy learning about the history of art, art to learn how to craft our own future. We, we have to copy examples from textbooks. Because otherwise we're doing art wrong. A first grader can open windows into other realities with his phone camera just like a preschooler. Finger paints can turn out to be the first draft of his life purpose. Notebook doodles in the back of math class equal the product of prodigy skill. The graphite fingerprints smeared on our cheeks highlight the exhaustion caffeine can't cover. How can anyone think outside of the box when they aren't even allowed to color outside of the lines? You shoved photographers and illustrators in the same class and expected to get the same result. Picasso and Van Gogh are 72 years apart, yet they're still taught side by side. Edgar Allan Poe died nearly 100 years before Sylvia Plath. So, so why do we learn about them both in one class period? Why are we left in the dark? Is it so we never see our true potential? There's no room, no room in, in the, the budget. When the budget gets too empty, a kid's creativity is the first to get cut. There's no room in the agenda for dreams when there are tests to study for. Because art isn't a requirement. Not like calculus or, or physics. physics. Every day in elementary school, they lied to us about our history, but we only had art once a week. Every day we memorized long division, but, but we only had art once a week. Every day, we lost more and more of our passion because, because we, we only had art once, once a week. You can't contain an artist in the bubbles of a saffron sheet. You can't judge a kid's potential on a four-point scale. At birth, we're squaddled with multiple choice tests and for what we'll do for the rest of our lives. A, doctor. B, lawyer. C, firefighter. D, D failure. failure. <laughs>